It's the Asylum's take on the Bigfoot legend starring Danny Partridge and Greg Brady as embittered former bandmates. In the South Dakota town of Deadwood, deforestation and loud noises attract a comically larger Bigfoot than we're used to seeing, and carnage commences. Gives new meaning to stomping grounds. It stars Danny Bonaducci as Harley Henderson, a radio jock and former bandmate of Simon Quint, played by Barry Williams, who's now an environmental activist, and their latest dispute is over Harley's 80s flashback festival that's been tearing down the forest. You just said this is not just about your festival, Harley. It never was. It's, it's only about the festival. You're just pissed because you weren't invited. You sold out just like I did. Oh, are you two singing together at the festival? I'm, I'm not, not singing, singing with, with him. him. We can only hope. Once the festival is underway, the thousands of fans get treated to a surprise headliner, Bigfoot himself, who's obviously not a fan of loud noises or C-list cameos. Let's shine the spotlight on Alice Cooper for playing himself. Vince, It didn't bite off his head. Now for the top three signature moves. Top three signature moves. Number three, the Bigfoot Big Boot. <laughs> That's how you leave an impression. Second is a portal body pile driver. <laughs> Death by shitter. And finally, the finisher, the Tour de Force Smackdown. 1998, it was the last time that party Guess it should be called Mount Crushmore. Other highlights include the sheriff nonchalantly tasering Simon for his insistence on bringing Bigfoot in alive, Bigfoot stepping on a logger's cigarette before smacking him down the hill. Guess it had to butt in. And Bigfoot taking out that newscopter for getting a little too close. Gives new meaning to breaking news. Vince, When you finally had enough and hit your rival with a foreign object, you have to drop a one-liner. Here's an example. You stole my tranquilizer darts. I can't even play the guitar. Yeah, well, I got three of them in my basement. And your mama knows what I can play. Yeah, this thing put this little flip in the back. It was... You devil! That's one way to strike a chord. Now let's slam a fight with the band Slammish Tag in. How's this? For a smash hit. Bigfoot was one of the more entertaining asylum creature flicks thanks to the leads and the abundance of laughable Bigfoot kills. <laughs> he ain't got big feet for nothing. The rivalry between the leads was fun, especially as it reached its breaking point when it's uncomfortably revealed that they each had relations with each other's mothers. You remember when I toured with your mom in 86? I played ball in the house. Ah! I guess they're both motherfuckers. Though sadly, it ended too abruptly and anticlimactically. Uh. 
More like Danny Bomaducci. It would have definitely benefited with some resolution between Harley and Simon, or at least where they have to team up to take out Bigfoot. It should also be mentioned that it was directed by Bruce Davison, who's best known for playing Senator Kelly in the X-Men movies, who also has a small role as a sheriff and gets a hilarious death. Hey, Aldelay! Guess that would be karma? <laughs> On the band damage meter, I give it three and a half out of five masks. It's one small step for man, one big foot for the asylum. Thanks for joining me for Jack Van Slam vs. Bigfoot. Let me know in the comments below your thoughts, what your favorite moments were. Be sure to click that like button and subscribe for more ridiculousness and more Slam Rank movie reviews. You remember when I toured with your mom in 86? You did. I did. I played ball in the house.